Hello everybody, this is Ms. Lina Oude and this is English Grade 11. Today I'm going to start with week 12 to explain uh, the following um, items that go under the unit uh, individuals and society. So each term that we're going to be taking will go under individual and society. On the 19th day, we're going to take reading comprehension. So as for the reading comprehension, you've already sat for more than one reading comprehension. And since it's very important for any examination that you will be sitting for in the future, it is extremely important for you to practice. And also we will include some ACT texts that will tackle some of the skills that you already need. Uh, you'll identify the main idea of the text. You will gain a deeper understanding of a text, increase reading comprehension, expand vocabulary, and improve writing. Improve writing. As uh, for the collection of key terms, uh, unseen tax, reading comprehension, scaffolding, skimming and scanning, fiction and nonfiction, all are terms that you've already taken before, but practice makes perfect. If you click on the image over here, it will, you will access the PowerPoint that gives you some extra explanation for what you are about to take. Uh, here are some tutorials which will also help. As for interactive reading text number one, I have two um, websites for you. The first website I've already created an account for. It's very interactive. The second one is ACT. Uh, in the in these you're gonna be able you're gonna be able to practice and also you can use either skimming and scanning or reading and compre reading comprehension if you read it up. As for the following day, which is the 20th, you're going to be able to take um, a debate. In this debate, you will demonstrate your ability to critically analyze a controversial topic. You will develop collaborative research, and you will also view your viewpoints and be able to rebuttal. One of the key terms is controversial, another one opening, then rebuttals, then reflection and conclusion. Here are some videos and tutorials which will help you understand how to debate Remember, you need to debate properly. It's not a kind of fight. Uh, over here, if you click on the image, you will also find some rules for debating. Uh, and also, this helps you a lot with understanding the, me uh, the curfews for under 16. Uh, the activity that will be conducted in the class is the debate itself. It will run for around 45 minutes. For the last five minutes, of course, the reflection and conclusion and then announcing the winner. As for the following day, which is the 21st, we're going to start with writing informative essays. As for writing informative essays over here, you're going to, you're going to start with um, another type of essay. This time, it's all log logos. You will identify the general layout of an informative essay, informational, fact sheet, you call it. Present central thesis statement or viewpoint. Provide reliable and relevant evidence, facts, and statistics. Uh, fact sheets, thesis statement, introduction examples, body paragraphs are some of the vocabulary words that you're going to be learning. You click over here, you're also going to find uh, a very important uh, PowerPoint that will help you understand. And this video explains everything in regards of informative essay in general, although this class is only allocated for the introduction. The activity that is going to be running in the class is writing the introduction itself with another activity, a very fast one where you can find mistakes. Uh, as for the following day, which is the 22nd, we're going to start with the body paragraphs. This time we're going to only um, take three classes for writing. It won't need more because it's mainly facts and collecting facts, assembling them, then organizing them. In the body paragraph, since we don't have any kind of rebuttals, uh, we will only uh, take this time to organize the ideas. Uh, we will also um, allocate the time for a very short activity, then we immediately uh, run into uh, write, uh, jotting down our ideas as a form of essay. And of course, a lot of layouts and visiting texts are there for you, for you to understand how to write. For the last day on this week, which is the 23rd, you're going to be finishing with the conclusion paragraphs, and then immediately you're going to start with a proofreading with your peers, with me, uh, with your family, anyways. Uh, so for over here, uh, some activities for you uh, in order to know how to conclude. And then you're going to start with the conclusion and then immediately swap your papers or swap your, uh, your files with your partner and him finding mistakes, her finding mistakes, and vice versa. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for listening. We'll meet you for week 13.